friends here in this video we will see a problem on Bernoulli's equation for that here is the question water flows in a circular pipe at one section the diameter is 0.3 meter the static pressure is 260 kilopascal the velocity is 3 meter per second and the elevation is 10 meter above the ground level the elevation at a section downstream is 0 meter and the pipe diameter is 0.15 meter Find out the pressure at the downstream section. Frictional effects may be neglected. Assume the density of water to be triple nine kg per meter cube. Now this is the question in front of us. Whatever is given here, I'll write that in the form of data. It is given water flows in a circular pipe at one of the section the diameter is 0.3 meter I will keep that diameter as T1. So if the diameter is 0.3 meter I will get the area here. So that is area 1. Next. The static pressure is 260 kilopascal at this section, so that will be P1. And the velocity is 3 meter per second, so V1. Next and the elevation is 10 meter so Z1 I'll say that is 10 meter in height above the ground level. The elevation at a section downstream is 0 meter so elevation downstream is 0 that is Z2 and the pipe diameter is 0 0.15 meter at section 2. I'll get the area here. That will come out to be area 2 as 17.67 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter square. Then find out the pressure at the downstream section. Downstream means at section 2. We have to find the value of pressure. Frictional effects may be neglected. Assuming density of water. It is triple line kg per meter cube. So when the data has been understood, let us try to get the solution to this problem. And in that solution, first I'll draw the diagram for this pipeline. By seeing the diameters, it is 0 0.3 and 0 0.15. We can see that the pipe won't be a constant diameter pipe, but it will be a tapering pipe. Now these are the sections, section 1 and section 2, it was given in the problem. That at one section the diameter is 0 0.3 meter and the static pressure is 260 kilopascal, velocity 3 meter per second. Elevation is 10 meter above the ground level. So 10 meter above the ground level is section 1 where the diameter is D1 that is 0 0.3 meter. Then the elevation at section downstream is 0. Downstream is this direction. So here I will say this is the upstream direction where the from where the flow is taking place. And here is the downstream. Next downstream is 0 which is given. So here is the ground level 
or I can say the data. Then the pipe diameter is 0 0.15 meter at the bottom. So it means here the tapering pipe is there at section 1 it is having larger diameter D1 which is 0 0.3 meter at section 2 smaller diameter D2 which is 0 0.15 meter and we have to find the pressure at this section that is downstream section P2 pressure at section 1 has been given. So I will apply Bernoulli's equation here. So applying Bernoulli's equation at section 1 and 2. Now at section 1 I will write down V1 upon rho g which is pressure head plus V1 square by 2g kinetic head plus Z1 which is potential head. Similarly at section 2 pressure head, velocity head and potential head. Now this is the Bernoulli's equation without any losses as it is mentioned in the question frictional losses have been neglected. Then here we have to find the value of P2 so I will be keeping P2 on one side so in, the, in this case taking the pressures on one side so p1 by rho g when sent on onto the other side it can be written as p2 minus p1 upon common denominator rho g then v1 square by 2g is on one side if i send v2 square onto the other side having common denominator 2g then it will be plus z1 minus z2 Keeping this as the first equation, so here the pressure P1 should be known V1, V2 and Z1, Z2. Z1 is 10 meter, Z2 is 0, these values are known. Then out of V1, V2, V1 is known 3 meter per second and even pressure at section 1, 260 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per meter square has been given. So the only unknown here is V2. So that we can easily find out by using the continuity equation and then putting all values here will give us the answer of pressure at section 2. So I will say that from continuity equation from continuity equation since discharge is given by Q is equal to A1 V1 equal to A2 V2. Now V1 area 1 area 2 are known to us so I can calculate V2 from here. Area 1 70.69 into 10 raised to minus 3 and area 2 was 17.67 into 10 raised to minus 3 and the velocity v1 was 3 meter per second so from this i am getting the answer of v2 as 12 meter per second then i will say that therefore putting all values In equation number one so here there is p2 which will remain as it is minus p1 which is 216 to 10 raised to 3 rho g since the type of fluid mentioned in this problem is water 
so and the density is given it is 999 into 9.81 equal to v1 which is 3 v2 which is 12 therefore when I calculate this here I am getting the right hand side value multiplied by 999 into 9.81 this is 30.57 into 10 raised to 3 and when I send this 260 onto the other side it will be added to this answer so therefore the pressure at section 2 comes out to be 290.57 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square or that is 290.57 kilopascal so here the question was to find out the pressure at the downstream section that is P2 and the pressure at this downstream section is 290.57 kilopascal and once the P2 value is known the problem gets completed.